There's a play action. Good user. He's going to throw it to the running back. That's pick. Let's go, Reed. Let's go. Had that running back manned up to make it look like it was guarded. And this defense right here is just disgusting. What's going on, everybody? In today's Madden 22 video, we are going to be doing a live walkthrough, aka breakdown of my defensive adjustments to be able to lock down the entire field, whether it's gun bunch, gun trips, tight end, or small formations. In this video, I'm going to show you what I like to do to be successful. Drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, welcome yourself to the fam, and make sure your notifications is turned on. Let's get into the squad that I'm using and then some gameplay. How are you doing, everybody? You can get merchandise. You can get ebooks at a discounted price using code Xmas. I repeat, merchandise in the store, in the link in the description. All ebooks are 15% off using discount code Xmas. Blessings. All right, the team that I am rocking with is only a 90, 91 overall. We are rocking Jets, 51 out of 50. I have Boomer Esiason, Curtis Martin. A lot of cards need upgrades, but for right now, we able to dominate on Madden 22. Plexico Burris right here, he got three AP on him. Keyshawn Johnson, one AP. I hit the running back out the backfield a lot on the offensive side. Nothing special on the offensive side, just controlling the clock, but let's look at where all the plays are made on the defense. Now, over here on the defense, we have Marcus May, we have Ed Reed, Ronnie Lott, Cam Chancellor, all boosted up with the strategy cards and 50 out of 50 Jets boost. So they are all 95 to 97 speed. Uh, Deion Sanders, we just need him for his good coverage. We got Perry Nicholson, he's up to a 98 speed. Darrell Revis needs an upgrade. His next upgrade will put him at 98, 99 speed. Jason Taylor and John Abraham will be bringing the pressure off of the edge. Let's go. All right, so we matched up with Brand Said High. Okay, so he has Jimmy Garoppolo. James Robinson and Andre Johnson, I believe. So I haven't seen Jimmy Garoppolo in this game yet. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what he does with him. Does he stay in small formations or bigger formations? But anyway, I'm trying to knock helmets off and I'm trying to style on my opponent. Drop a like on the video. Hit that red subscribe button right now. It's free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want to. Let's get into the breakdown. So my two main formations is this nickel normal and this nickel 335. Okay, I am and he's in bunch offset. So now we're gonna set it up. We're gonna go uh, cover nine, cover nine. And this is just the hope with the main play. So cover nine and cover six and our audibles. And we all set. So we're gonna come out and cover six first. And we're gonna see if he brings the running back out the field or not. So is he bringing that running back out? Okay, so the running back is going out. We got pressure right there. He's screaming at him, okay? I'm gonna force him to keep that running back in as much as possible. He goes into gun doubles. So now we're gonna go into coverage, okay? So we're gonna go into coverage. He's in gun doubles. Let me see who's coming off the edge. So we're gonna play some coverage right here. So it might be a run. I wanna be able to stop the run. We got this, here come a wheel route. He's trying to move that guy over. Come on, big hit, big hit. I seen him right there. I should have had a spy in the middle. All right, so when they flip in back and forth between formations, you got to make sure that you have your adjustments set right. So now he's back into this type of formation. So third and seven right here. So we want to make sure that uh, it's a spy over the middle. So there's a route. Here's a route coming back right here. Pick. Come on, you got to give me those. All right, you take the running back. Take the running back so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so throw that. Okay, that's short. That's short. He didn't get it. Yes, go. I manned up the middle linebacker with the running back at the last second because I, I expected for him to try to hit the running back somewhere. So I wanted to take that read away. All right, so we were successful on defense. So we got an opportunity to take a lead right here. So this is how my play is set up. I love this play. It forces my opponents to put hard flats on the field. As you see, we can take that underneath route right there for a nice eight to nine yard gain. And I'm just running space and switch. That's gonna force my opponent to play underneath. So then I can hit them with verticals without flipping my play. 
So that's all it is. All I'm doing is manipulating him to play how I want him to play. So right here, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of pressure. We can low ball that, boom, easy dot. Keep him in that formation. So we got him out of the pocket right there. We need enough speed to get to the edge. And that's the reason why you don't put a lot of zones on the field in the red zone because chasing the quarterback is super hard. So all I had to do was stay up in the pocket. He sent this spy early. I know that he was playing bum defense and having nine or 10 in coverage, only two people coming at the quarterback. He sent that spy. I'm able to roll out with the escape artist and get a tutty tutty. Play action, I'm all over it. Oh, my guy got stuck. Oh, I got stuck trying to go across, man. He's staying in these little formations. I'm making him chew up so much clock in order to move the ball. He's having to use so much clock to move the ball. Let's go, get him in the backfield. Get him in the backfield. Four rushes for 13 yards. There's a play action. Good user. He's gonna throw it to the running back. That's pick. Let's go, Reed. Let's go. Had that running back manned up to make it look like it was guarded. And this defense right here is just disgusting. You can see how much clock I made him use to go down the field. I make you strategically move the ball down the field. Get comfortable putting the running back out, putting the running back out, putting the running back out. And then once I'm tired of you doing that and you get like past the 50, closer to the 40 on my side of the field, then that's when I can dial up the press single back wing. So now he's probably gonna be comfortable seeing the, seeing the running back out. And now we're gonna full out blitz right here. Single back wing, we blitzing both of them. So I'm actually gonna man him up and I'm gonna lurk right here, okay? So like I said, full out blitz. You see what I'm saying? Now you mix that blitz in, get you a strip fumble, and we on the six yard line. Let him hit him, let him hit him, let him hit him, and then eventually, pow, hit him in his mouth. Okay, so he does run the ball. That's not a good run. We all over it to lock it down. Five rushes for 12 yards. Okay, so we're gonna move him out a couple steps. Boom! That was almost picky, picky, a picky, picky. And I got this route through it. Oh! He found somebody. No! What kind of tackling is that, bro? So 28 seconds left, no timeouts on the 38 yard line. And I just want to try to get to the wide side of the field right here and pick up any kind of pressure. So I'm just gonna put an out route and hopefully either my running back or the other route can get deep. So no pressure comes. We can throw this right here, pick up about three or four and get out of bounds. So now we in field goal range. I'm gonna kick my field goal right now, 50 yarder because he's gonna stall and make me use up a whole bunch of clock so it's not even worth it when I don't have no timeouts. I can go for a shot in the end zone, but it's a chance that a deflection, a pop off, interception or anything like that can happen. So I'm gonna leave him with 19 seconds to make a mistake and we can turn around and get a picky picky 66. We just went into the worst formation, y'all. We about to be screaming at him. Let's go. Well, we didn't scream at him, but we got an interception super fast. We got an interception super fast. So now we should be able to hit RB on the sidelines. It looked like he's gonna be blitzing. So he should be back there. He shouldn't be able to catch up to it. That's a dot. <laughs> That's a dot with two seconds left on the clock. Five for five for 109. You feel me? And we get another three points. I told you, give him enough time to make a mistake. Ooh-wee! Send that pressure to him. People don't like to handle pressure. Now, when you are blitzing somebody heavy, you gotta have a four or five rope combo that you are comfortable with. You gotta have somebody out the backfield. You gotta make it so the user can't guard the same area, okay? Because if the user able to guard your crossing rope in a hitch, while the pressure is getting dialed up, it's gonna be hard. He's coming out onside kicking. I can't, oh, I can't even pause the game. They gave him the onside kick, bro. I don't know why my blitz didn't get in. Let's go, get it, there you go, there you go. Throw it to me.
Nope, I'm all over all this. That ain't open no more, buddy. That ain't open no more. I better quit playing around. I better get this middle back. 25 on that middle. 25 on that middle. I got everything else. You get deep. You get 25 on that middle. Yeah, pressure to him. Ha <laughs> I take that. Uh, get up. You got 98 speed. You got 98 speed. Ain't nobody supposed to be catching you. One spin, one spin, one spin. Dive into the end zone. We up. Out of, out of, out of there. Brian said hi. Fat Dollar said hi. Nickerson said, Tutty, Tutty, Tutty. Let's go. And my opponent quit the game if y'all enjoyed it. It's free, man. It don't cost you anything. Drop a like on the video. Hit that red subscribe button for more gameplays. Let's get it.